What I'm going to do with this image with the local adjustments is a bit more extreme than for the other images that you saw so far. Um, I think we can really uh, step up this HDR image and improve it and take it to the next level by actually introducing some additional light in the scene. So we're going to change the lighting quite a lot uh, with local adjustments. And the way we're going to do this is by using mainly the radial filter uh, and that's the this little circle icon that you see on top here if you click that you see basically this a similar thing as you saw for the adjustment brush that we used uh, a lot in recent sections you see the same adjustments that you can dial in here and you have down here a feather a slider and an invert mask checkbox now, what the uh, radial filter tool does in general is you can draw an, a circle inside your image and then apply the adjustments either to the inside of the circle or the outside. Now, you would normally assume that in the default setting, you would apply the settings to the inside, but that's not how Lightroom works. Actually, to apply those settings to the inside, you need to click that invert mask Checkbox. That, that's what it's for. If you click invert, the adjustments that you, uh, that you set with the sliders are applied to the inside of the circle. If you don't click the invert mask checkbox, it's going to apply to the outside. Okay, so you have quite a lot of flexibility in doing that. Now, the reason why I'm using, uh, the, the circular, the, the radial adjustment tool here is that you can very nicely mimic the way a light shines onto your scene. Okay, so if you have a light in your scene, there will be a light cone and it's usually a circular shape which has, which is feathered to the outside, which has a smooth transition to the outside. And that's exactly what this radial filter allows you to do. And so let's just start and uh, start with this. And I'm, I've grabbed the radial filter tool. So I've got this little cross here and now I can draw a circle. And the first thing that I'd like to do is I'd like to illuminate this uh, stand here in the center aisle with this uh, sheet of paper on it because I, li I think I like that a lot and I think uh, we should bring it out some more and make it um, a central element and um, an important player in this in this image. So I'm just going straight onto the stand here. I'm dragging out and you see where I put my cursor down that's going to be the center of the circle and then it's going to expand into all directions and the way we uh, we drag the circle decides about the shape and so i'm going to i'm going to apply this um, so that it fits the perspective so to speak so that's about what a light cone would end up looking like when it falls onto the floor and now what i'm doing is I'm raising the exposure here. I'm raising the tint slider to make this a warm light. Um, I'm giving it some more clarity because if you do this and uh, increase the exposure and other settings, um, the pixels will tend to look a bit washed out. And that's why I always apply clarity to this to counter this effect. So if you hover your mouse over the, the image, you're going to see the pins and, you, and when you uh, hover over one of them, you will see the, uh, the, the mask that it applies. That's the red overlay here. And you're going to see the, the circular shape. So you can adjust the shape here at any time if it doesn't match your needs. Uh, let me just decrease the feathering just a little bit that raises the uh, that increases the intensity in the middle of the cone um, and so I'm just going to uh, gently work my way through here and apply some more lights and I think we are just about doing fine dehaze a little bit of dehaze as I already uh, mentioned um, helps you get some clarity and some contrast into this this area it, it reduces just the haziness and the washed out feeling just a little bit 
So that's the, f the first thing that I want to do. And we've nicely illuminated, I think, this uh, central stand here on the, in the aisle. And if I uh, disable the radial adjustment, you can see that the effect is quite believable. So it's not like you have a very fake looking light here, but the, the way you can apply the radial filter to do this makes it a very natural looking effect. And the final thing that I would like to do to this image is to, you know, I want to sell this impression a little bit better that we have a light shining on the stand. So I'm, I'm going to the, to the light up here. And I'm going to turn it on, so to speak. So, circular, a radial filter on that light bulb that we have up here. And just ramp up the exposure. And if that's not enough, which it isn't, you can always duplicate that. And now it should look as if that light is really turned on. Mm -hmm.